Hey guys, today um, it's Linda Little Panda here. I'm back with another video, and tell me if you like the setup better because you can see the whole screen like this. So, yeah, I just wanted to know if you like the setup better. So, I'm actually going to be doing an um, updated um, all my breeds I've unlocked video kind of thing uh, because I just I really want to do this video. So, yeah. So first is the Golden Retriever. This large breed originates in Scotland and boasts a wavy coat and fine temperament. So they come in Golden and Surprise Me. I'm obviously going to click Surprise Me for them all. What's the cutest one here? Probably that one because it looks like Lucky. Next is the Beagle. Although small in stature, this sporting English breed boasts a densely muscled frame. They come in tricolour, lemon and white and surprise me. That one's cute. Next is the Shiba. A breed originating in Japan, it's known for its small muscular body and curly tail. They come in red and white, black and tan and surprise me. Oh, that one is so cute. It kind of looks like um, Foxy when I had her. And Nugget from my old Ninja Nugs. Next is the Miniature Pincher. This German breed has a very appealing build and gait. They come in black and tan, red and surprise me. Oh, that one is so cute. On the old Nintendo, because I used to have one that looked like this called Angel. And she used to wear the white, like bright yellow colour. I don't know why. Next is the pug. This breed originated in ancient China. This wrinkly, its wrinkly face and curly tail are, are its identifying features. So they come in silver, black, apricot and surprise me. Oh, that one's cute. The tail looks like a peach. I think it's meant to be apricot though. It looks like a peach. He's cute. Um, next is the Miniature Dachshund. This breed originated from Germany. Germ oh, sorry, I read it wrong. This breed from Germany is unmistakable with its very long torso and short legs. They come in red, black and tan and surprise me. Hey look, it looks like Tara, my old Dachshund. If you like remember her. <laughs> like, yeah, from ages ago. She kind of looks like her. Well, she, I think it is her. Is it? It is, because she's a female and she has the same personality. Next is the Maltese. This breed from the Medi Mediterranean boasts a soft coat of pure white. Are you sure, Paul? Pure white? Because I see brown and everything on this beauty. Oh, this one's so cute. Next is the Great Dane. This dignified German breed is known for its massive size and powerful muscular frame. Um, they come in mantle, heroquin, fawn, and surprise me. Oh, that one is so cute. Next is the Cocker Spaniel. This friendly English breed has a luxurious wavy coat and long pedentulous ears. They come in party coloured, red and surprise me. Oh, that one. No, I'm waiting for that one. It looks like Lottie. I had to stroke it, it looked like Lottie. 
I love my besties. I like coming to the kennel too because you like see the dogs that like look like them and then you're like, oh, I want to go watch one of their videos. Because I was watching um, one of Lottie's videos a minute ago. If you're wondering who Lottie is, she's um, dog lover 51543. I remembered the numbers. I'm so proud of myself. The Shetland Sheepdog, bred in Scotland as a herding dog. Its elegant coat and kind face makes it a popular breed. I'm trying to speed up now, guys, because I've like been ch chatting a lot. So, next, well, the, the colours they come in is sable and white, bicolour and tricolour. And surprise me, obviously. Yeah. Oh, that one is so cute. Oh. I don't know why, but I if this was male... I would actually name this Iceberg. He would be so cute, an Iceberg. He's so cute! Or Brandon, that's a good name. Even though it's a female. i name him Molly. Yeah. Next is the Chihuahua, one of my favorite breeds. The world's smallest dog originated in Mexico. Its large eyes and ears give it its charm. They come in cream, red and white, tricolor and surprise me. They are so cute. He looks, he looks like Alvin, kind of, without with, with the line down his face. Next are the miniature Schnauzers. This German dog carries itself with dignity. The beard and eyebrows define the breed. They come in pepper and salt and surprise me. That one is adorable. I'd call that one Pepper. And then I'd get like a white one called Salt. <laughs> oh dear. Next is the Boxer. A German breed, the Boxer's muscular frame was used to its advantage as a fighting dog. Which I think is very wrong and it's actually illegal now. So they come in Fawn and White, Brindle and White and Surprise Me. Oh my god, it looks like York. <laughs> it's not York because it's male. Next is the last breed of dog, which is the Jack Russell Terrier. This English dog hides in its distinguished throat, the speed and energy of a horse. They come in lemon and white, black and white and surprise me. like pebbles anyway so next is the standard cat this well pushed proportionated kitten is healthy and playful and does not fussy about its owners so they come in solid tabby spotted tabby and calico I think I'm going to do Spotted Tad B because that's what Leo is and there's no surprise me is there so. Oh my god it's Leo! Oh my golly gosh it's Leo, it's Leo, it's Leo. But the, his head like detailing is a little different to Leo's. I think it's a girl. No it's a male. Next is the Oriental Cat. The sleek body and well-defined face gives it this cat an air of wisdom and maturity. So I'm gonna, they come in pointed and smoke and they come and surprise me, yeah. Oh, it's a golden kitty. Where did I hear that before? Oh yeah. Robopup333 has her new account, also known as Nintendo Bark. If you haven't subscribed to our new channel, you should go and do that. She's amazing. Anyway, next is the long-haired cat. This cat's luxurious, soft fur, short nose, and big round eyes give it its extra charm. They come in pointed and bicolor and surprise me. Almost finished, guys. This is the lad's last breed. I think that one. That one's cute. <gasps> and it's got blue eyes. So cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. This is what um, breed I think um, Rolo is, but 
because his nose kind of looks like that and his fur is like really thick so I don't know oh, or a short hair cat I either think he's a long haired cat or a short hair, or short hair which are they've got thick fur <coughs> so we're actually done with this video so I hope you guys watched it all and yeah so yeah um, and I'm gonna make a video in a minute of my dogs that I'm getting so please watch that video and yeah bye